Our partners at the State House News Service are keeping a close watch of the state of play on Beacon Hill. The State Public Health Council meets as policy begins to shift from pandemic to endemic. February jobs data will give a clearer read on the state of the economy, and the jobs data was decent. And a final round of party caucuses will set delegate slates for the state conventions this summer. So Boston School Superintendent Brenda Casillas, uh, who is unexpectedly leaving this June, is getting $314,000 in severance. That's essentially what was left in her two-year contract. Does this confirm this was her choice to leave? And how optimistic can we be that Mayor Wu will find a better replacement, Adrian? Number one, yes, it confirms that it wasn't her choice to leave. Number two, it's a bargain because we desperately need her to leave. And number three, it will not be difficult to find a better superintendent than Brenda Casellas, who has been a failure. And if you were going to put money on it, would you say it's from someone that's in the system or at least the Massachusetts education system right now? I think it is. I think there's a very good chance it will be someone who's in Massachusetts, but not probably currently in BPS. Interesting. John. So yes, it confirms this was not her choice. This was Mayor Wu's choice. It also raises the stakes tremendously for Mayor Wu to get the right person in there. Next item, it's one thing to take on Big Pharma, but now Maura Healy joins other attorneys general to go after TikTok, the bane of parents who have teenagers. Physical and mental health is at stake. Ginny, does, does this buy her votes, if, if not views? It, to me, it's reminiscent of the finger in the dike trying to, to, to stop the flooding. I mean, this is not going to change anything. And I think this is on parents to police their children and make sure that they're um, watching what they're doing. They're over their shoulder. Mm -hmm. And we don't need attorneys general doing that parenting job. What do you think, Adrian? Here we have complete agreement. <laughs> I, I see no upside to this whatsoever. Politically or otherwise. <laughs> no, I really don't. <laughs> okay, don't best it. week or worst week. Adrian, let's start with you. Putin. This is going to be the beginning of the end of Putin. It's going to be, it's terrible for Russia internally. It's terrible for Russia in terms of being isolated in the world. Nothing he gains from this invasion is going to be. To working. be clear, you're calling it the worst week. Right? I'm calling right. it the, the worst, worst week. week. Right. Yes, this Jenny. is going to be the worst week. Best or worst? Well, worst, and first of all, from your lips, Adrian, I hope you're right. My worst is Putin attacking a nuclear power plant. If anyone in this country thought this war had nothing to do with us, we now know the stakes are enormously high. Jenny, Adrian, thank you very much for your time, folks. Thanks for joining us. Remember, every Sunday we go on the record.